Hey everyone, welcome. I'm Heather, I'm the Bent Yogi. Welcome to Wednesday Morning Live. It might not be Wednesday when you are watching this, but every Wednesday, live, on my Instagram, which is also the Bent Yogi, I teach a class from 7.30 to 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we're sharing that with you right here, right now. I get off to a little bit of a rocky start, but we are going to start off in Downward Facing Dog. So come on to your mat and come on into your Downward Facing Dog. In your Downward Dog, feel your hands on your mat. Feel your feet on your mat. And you can set your gaze or close your eyes here. And together, let's take a big breath in. And a long breath out. <sighs> Bring your feet together a little bit forward. Take your right leg up to the sky. Bend your right knee for your down dog hip opener. And you can find this with your left knee on your mat. Maybe a little bit of movement. You might want to circle your foot around, move your ankle, or move your knee or your hip joint. Inhale, take your right leg back up. Come on forward to your high push-up. Draw your right knee into your chest. Lift down your shoulders. Low belly pulls in and up. Left leg is active. Inhale, up and back to your three-legged dog. Now your right foot lightly to your right thumb. Bring your left knee down to your mat. Untuck your left toes. Come on into your kneeling lunge. Hands can stay on your mat. They can come up to your front thigh. I like the variation with hands behind back. So you can interlace your fingers or... Use a towel or a strap between your hands. Deep breath here. One breath at a time. So that as you stay here, you can still feel the movement of your breath and then maybe the, the little movements in your body, opening across your chest, some space in your hips. As you pay attention to your breath, some space in your mind and your heart. Inhale, take your hands up, and as you exhale, bring your hands to your mat. Step back to your downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in here, and a long breath out. Bring your feet together and forward, left leg to the sky, bend your left knee for your down dog hip opener. And pay attention to your right leg. Your right heel can soften towards the mat here. The right leg is engaged, low belly draws in and up. You're lifting up out of your shoulders. Inhale, take that left leg back up. Come forward to your high push-up. Draw your knee into your chest. And you can really tuck in here if you like. Nose or forehead or chin to the knee, belly in and up. Inhale up and back to your three-legged dog. Now your left foot lightly to your left thumb. And your right knee comes to your mat. Untuck your right toes, your kneeling lunge on this side. Whatever hand variation you like here. If you interlace your fingers behind your back again, switch your fingers up. Try the opposite thumb on top. So it's the non-habitual way you interlace your fingers. Shoulders roll back. Gaze can be forward or you can look up. Take a big breath in. And a long breath out. Another big inhale. Hands reach high. And as you exhale, hands to your mat. Right foot steps to meet your left front edge of your mat. Feet about hips width distance apart. Come on to your ragdoll. You can grab your elbows or let your hands dangle. Feel like you can let your head drop. A big breath in. And a long breath out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Release your hands, walk your feet closer together to touch and rise to stand. Come all the way up, hands high, heart lifts. You can go up, look up, even go back if you like. A big inhale at the top, hands to your heart, exhale. Set your gaze, lower your gaze or close your eyes. Set an intention for your practice if you like. And together, let's take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Inhale, sweep your hands high, reach up, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, flat back, inhale, hands to your mat, step back to your high push-up, high plank, knees lifted or lowered. Big inhale here, forward, halfway down, low push-up, chaturanga. You can drop your knees or come all the way down. Inhaling, upward facing dog, your cobra or your low cobra variation. Take an extra breath in here, exhale back to your 
downward dog or your child's pose. Take a long breath in and a long breath out. Take another deep inhale here. As you exhale, step or jump to the front. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand, lift and reach. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up, exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. You can add in child's pose at any point during your practice. You can add in variations. Adding in breath and some space for yourself. So you can feel where you are, feel what you're doing. So you really get grounded, centered, and come back into balance. One more deep inhale here. Exhale. Step or jump to the front. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Rise to stand. Lift and reach. Fold forward. Exhale. Halfway lift. Inhale. High push up to low push up. Exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Another big inhale here. Exhale, walk or jump forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Utkatasana, chair pose. Set your feet, put a big bend to your knees. Hips low, heart high, hands higher at your heart. Take a big inhale here, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up, exhale. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Right foot steps forward, warrior one, Virabhadrasana. Spin your back foot flat, lift up, bend into your front knee, ground through your front foot, bend your front knee. Ground through your back foot, lift through your back leg, and then lift up out of your hips here. Hands higher at your heart, take a big inhale, exhale, hands to your mat. High push up to low push up. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Left foot steps forward, warrior one. Rise up. And set your gaze here, you can close your eyes. Set your feet, so really feel where your feet have landed. And then adjust as needed. And allow yourself to land here. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Hands to your mat. High push up to low push up. Inhale. Upward dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Take a long breath in. And a long breath out. Another deep inhale here. Exhale. Walk or jump forward. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Utkatasana. Sit down. Lift up. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up, exhale. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Right foot steps, warrior one. Light step, but with intention, rise up. Exhale, hands come back down. Chaturanga, low push up. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Left foot steps, warrior one, rise up. Exhale, hands to your mat. Chaturanga, low push up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let your head hang here. Feel if you can let your heels soften. Long breath in. Full breath out. Another deep inhale. Exhale, walk or jump forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Utkatasana, chair pose. Sit down, lift up, bring your hands to your heart. Hips a little bit lower, feet together or apart, but feet even. Take a big breath in, twist to your left, right elbow towards the outside of your left thigh. Crown the head forward, tailbone back. Whatever hand variation you want to work with here, but feel your hands connect. And feel your feet connected to the ground. Connect into this breath, a big inhale. And a big exhale. Hands can stay together or they can open up. Right hand reaching for the ground. Left arm reaching up for the sky. You can come to your side curl if you like. Take a big breath in. Fold forward. Exhale. Walk your feet about hips width distance apart with your peace fingers. Hook your big toes. Palms face each other. Halfway lift on your inhale. Lengthen and fold as you exhale. 
I just realized I forgot to turn my sparkly lights on behind me. That's what my morning's been like. I came downstairs to get paper towels, turned some lights on, picked up my son's toys, moved the dog bone, went back upstairs, and realized, oh yeah, I went downstairs to get paper towels. <laughs> Take a big breath in here, and a long breath out. <sighs> Release your toes, walk your feet closer together to touch, and rise to stand. Come up, lift and reach, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up, exhale. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Left foot steps forward, crescent lunge. Step up, rise up, right heel stays lifted, left foot a little to your left, bring your hands to your heart, take a big inhale. And again, twist to your left, right elbow towards the outside of your left thigh. You can have your back knee lifted or lowered. Right, so this is why we practice. So we can come back into balance. At least it's why I practice. Come back into focus. Hands can stay together or they can open up. Come out of that place of distraction and worry. And really come into some strength and some ease. Take a big breath in, and a long breath out. On your next inhale, come back up to your crescent lunge. Rise up, set your left foot, set your gaze, eagle. Right leg wraps up and over, right arm wraps under. And you can work with a different arm variation here. As you take your right leg over, the right hip wants to come with it, so feel like there's room to even out. Tall and long in your upper body. Maybe a little wobbly, that's okay. Take a big breath in. And a long breath out. Now start to fold forward. Keep a little lift in your chest, in your heart, your spine is long. Elbows towards knees. Breathe for three, two. Airplane Dekasana, unwrap your arms, your legs. Sweep that right leg lifted back behind you. Take your hands back, palms spin down towards the ground. Little lift to your chest and your heart, a big inhale. Drop back to your crescent lunge. Reach up, exhale, hands come down to your mat. High push up to low push up. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. <sighs> Another big inhale here. Exhale, step or jump to the front. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Utkatasana, chair pose. Sit down, lift up, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Chaturanga, low push up, step or jump back. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Right foot steps forward, warrior one, rise up. Now, warrior two. You can add some space between your feet. Lengthen out through your arms to the tips of your fingers. Lengthen from the base of your spine all the way up to the crown of your head. Spin your palms to the sky. Take your right hand high, reverse your warrior. Reach up and go back. Keep that bend in your front knee. Stay grounded through your feet, but soften your toes. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, hands to your mat. High push up to low push up. <clears throat> inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Right foot again, warrior one. Rise up, open out, warrior two. Now, horse, turn your Toes out, heels and bend your knees. You can bring your hands to your heart just to set your foundation. Maybe sit a little bit lower. Watch out for leaning forward. As you inhale, sweep your arms up. And as you exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale, sweep up, reach up. Exhale, hands through your heart. Inhale, sweep up, reach up. Exhale, hands through heart center. Once more, inhale, sweep up, reach up. Now, warrior to left side, pivot around towards the back edge of your mat and watch out for leaning forward over this right leg. Pay attention to your right foot so if the toes are now pointing behind you. Bring them around with you. Dip into your front knee, palms to the sky, take your left hand high, reverse your warrior, reach up and go back. Take a really big inhale here, exhale, hands down to your mat. High push up to low push up. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, 
downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Ha. Ah. Breathe in. And breathe out. Another big inhale here. Exhale. Step or jump to the front. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Rise up. Lift and reach. Fold forward. Exhale. Halfway lift. Inhale. Chaturanga low push up. Step or jump back. Inhale. Upward dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Take a big breath in. And a long breath out. Another big inhale here. Exhale, walk or jump to your hands. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Utkatasana, chair pose. Big bend to your knees, come on up, hands to your heart. Hips a little lower, heart stays high, full inhale. Twist to your right, left elbow towards the outside of your right thigh. And you can have your feet together or apart. If your feet are together, knees together. Feet apart, knees apart, really intentional. Hands together, lengthening your spine, lengthening your spine, lifting your chest and your heart. And then if you want to open up, left hand reaches for the ground, right arm can reach up for the sky. Your gaze can go up if you like. Side crow is an option here. Take a big inhale, fold forward, exhale. Walk your feet apart, about hips width distance here. Padanastasana, slide your hands under your feet, palms up. Halfway lift as you inhale, lengthen and fold as you exhale. And you can work with more, more of a rag doll or more of a flat back. And a bend to your knees if that works. Feel your hands, feel your feet. Feel where you are, what you're doing right here and now. So often we are trying to do a whole bunch of different things at one time. Here, just one thing, showing up, breathing. And presence. Take a big breath in and a long breath out. And take your hands out from under your feet. Walk your feet closer together to touch and rise to stand. Come up, lift and reach. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up. Exhale. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Right foot steps forward. Crescent lunge. Come up. Left heel lifted, right foot a little to your right. Bring your hands to your heart, a big inhale. And again, twist to your right. Left elbow towards the outside of your right thigh. You can keep that back knee lifted or lowered. Grounded through your front foot. Hands can stay together or open up. So if you keep your back knee lifted, let it be really intentional. The back of your left knee lifting, your heel pressing back. At the same time, your right knee over your right ankle. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. On your inhale, come up to your crescent lunge. Rise up, set your gaze in your right foot. Now eagle, left leg wraps up and over, and your left arm wraps under. And as the left leg comes over, the left hip wants to come forward, and kind of wind up turning to your right. If you can ease the left hip, the left shoulder back, Whatever leg arm variation works best for you. Long and tall in your upper body. Keep that length and a little bit of lift as you start to fold forward. Elbows towards knees. Breathe here for three, two. Hair play, Vekasana. Unwrap. Extend that left leg lifted back behind you. Hands sweep back. Lift up through your right leg. Lift your chest and lift your heart. Take a big inhale. Drop back to your crescent lunge. Big inhale here. Exhale, hands to your mat. High push up to low push up. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog or your child's pose. Take a long breath in. And a big breath out. <sighs> Bring your knees down to your mat. Come on into your tabletop. Set your shoulders over your wrists, hips over your knees. Right arm extends forward. Left leg extends back behind you. Draw your low belly and up. Lift out of your left shoulder. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, elbow and knee touch under you. Squeeze in. Inhale, extend out. Lift and lengthen. Exhale, squeeze in. Belly in and up. Inhale, extend out. Lengthen. Little lift that back leg. 
exhale, squeeze in. Inhale, extend and lengthen. Now you can stay here or bend your back knee. Reach your right hand back to catch the foot and press your foot up and back. Bring your chest forward. Heart lifts, lift out of your left shoulder. So even if you don't catch the foot, you can create that back bend by lifting out of your left shoulder, breathing in and breathing up. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, extend out. Right arm forward, left leg back, hold here. Come back to your tabletop, reset, and switch sides. Left arm lifted forward, right leg lifted back behind you. Big breath in. As you exhale, elbow and knee, touch, undo. Squeeze in here. Inhale, extend out, lift that back leg. Exhale, squeeze in. Inhale, extend out, lift and lengthen. Exhale, squeeze in. Now, extend out, lengthen, stay here, or again, bend the back knee, hand reaches back to find the foot. As you go for the foot behind you, stay connected to your right hand. Whatever variation you're in, lift out of your right shoulder. Hands can be down or forward or even up, but lift your chest and lift your heart. Take a big inhale here. As you exhale, arm forward, leg back, little pause, back to your tabletop. You can move through a couple of cat cows. And then your downward dog or your child's pose. And take a big breath in. And a long breath out. <sighs> take another big inhale here. And as you exhale, step or jump your feet through your hands. Sit down. Extend your feet out. Extend your hands out. Engage your core and lower back slowly for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. You can hover your feet. 5, 4, 3, 2. Hover your shoulders. Hover your feet if they're not lifted already. And hold here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, all the way down. Set your feet on your mat and come on up for your bridge or your wheel. Take a big breath in and lift up. Set your foundation. You can set your gaze or close your eyes. Lift your hips, lift your chest. Big piece of this practice for me. Lift your heart, let your heart be lifted. Allow yourself to feel where you are and what you're doing. Allow yourself to be in joy. Even if it is just for a breath. Take a really big inhale here. And a big exhale. One more deep breath in. And as you exhale, gently lower down. Come onto your back. Bring the soles of your feet together. Knees to the sides, Supta Baddha Konasana, full inhale, and a full exhale. Once more here, take a deep breath in, and a long breath out. And draw your knees to your chest and come on into your happy baby. And you can grab your feet or your legs or your toes, maybe some movement here, the option to extend your legs if you like. Keep your spine long. Bring your knees back to your chest. Start to find some forward and back movement. Once you're ready, rock forward, plant your hands, and make your way back to your downward facing dog. You can move through vinyasa or just step back. Take a big breath in. And a full breath out. Feet together and forward, right leg high. Bend your right knee. Now you can flip your dog here if you like. When you're ready, come on into your half a pigeon. You can set up this variation or the variation on your back. A little adjusting, lengthening through your back leg. Right foot over and forward. Lift your chest, lengthen through your spine, a big inhale. Once you're ready, if you haven't yet, fold forward. Let your head come to land on your mat or your hands or a prop.
notice what's going on in your head <clears throat> just enough so that if you're not here you can come back and land in your body in this breath land in your power and your strength and be at ease here big breath in And a long breath out. Big full inhale. And a full exhale. Take a long breath in. And a full exhale. And set your hands under your shoulders. Make your way back to your downward facing dog. Maybe a three-legged dog or you stick in a vinyasa here. Bring your feet together and forward. Take your left leg up, bend your left knee. You can flip your dog. Take your time. And when you're ready, come on into your half pigeon. Take your time, but stay in focus. Keep following your breath. Keep feeling your body. A lot of times we're, I think we're rushing to get more done when we're off our mat. And that, that really throws us off balance. That doesn't help with focus. So here, even though it's a flow, you don't have to rush. You get to this point in the practice and you have a little more time to take in a pose. Allow yourself to feel this and enjoy this. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Practice, practice being in your body, being in this breath, being in your strength and your power and, and being at ease. That is something that we can do when there's stuff going on all around us and we don't know what to do. This right here, right now is something that we can do. Coming back into our balance. Being grounded and supported. And then again, being at ease. And take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Another big inhale. And a big exhale. And set your hands under your shoulders. Come on up. Sweep your back leg out and around in front of you. Lie down on your back. If you want to finish with a downward dog, move through a vinyasa, go for it. Come onto your back. Give your knees a little squeeze. Drop your knees over to your right. Any variation of the twist that you like here. And come through center. And take your knees, your twist, to the other side. And come back to center. Any last poses or adjustments that feel right. And set up your Shavasana. Whatever physical variation feels most comfortable for you, take a really big breath in. Hold it for a moment. Draw in as much air as you can. And release.
wiggle your fingers and toes. Draw your knees to your chest. <clears throat> Slowly roll to one side and make your way to seated. Bring your hands to your heart. You can set your gaze, lower your gaze, or close your eyes. Together, let's take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Drawing your thumbs to your forehead, to your third eye center. Together we say, Namaste. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for joining me for practice today. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, you can catch the class with me live on my Instagram every Wednesday morning from 7.30 to 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'd love to hear what you think about the practice. Leave a comment below. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. Most important, please take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And I'll see you on your mat.